The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently provided the clearest image of Proxima b, a planet located just 25 light years away from Earth. Proxima b is a tantalizing discovery because it's one of the closest exoplanets ever found, and it has piqued the interest of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Its characteristics and proximity make it an intriguing subject for exploration, raising questions about the secrets it might hold and whether it could potentially support life. Proxima b is not your typical exoplanet. It's about 30% more massive than Earth, which means it's also larger. However, it has an incredibly short year, lasting only 11.2 Earth days. This brevity is a consequence of its remarkably close orbit around its star, Proxima Centauri, which is a small red dwarf star. While the proximity of Proxima b to its star might lead one to believe it's a scorching, in hospitable world, Proxima Centauri emits far less energy than our Sun. Therefore, conditions on Proxima b may be more suitable for life, especially if it resides within the star's habitable zone, where temperatures could support liquid water. But before you start packing your bags for an interplanetary adventure, there are some critical factors to consider. One significant challenge is that Proxima b is likely tidally locked with its star, meaning one side of the planet permanently faces the star while the other side is in constant darkness. This extreme temperature difference is not conducive to life as we know it. Furthermore, the planet is subjected to intense solar wind radiation from Proxima Centauri, which could strip away any atmosphere or water on the planet's surface. Proxima Centauri, despite having a fraction of the Sun's mass, has a unique feature. Its nuclear fusion cores are closer to the surface, leading to turbulent surface activity, powerful magnetic fields, and high-energy radiation. These conditions pose a significant challenge for planets like Proxima b, which orbit within the star's habitable zone. The star's activity can unleash powerful flares and radiation bursts, making it an inhospitable environment for potential life forms. Recent studies have improved our understanding of the extreme conditions around Proxima Centauri. High-resolution magnetic field maps have provided insights into the star's solar wind and its effects on Proxima b. The results are concerning, with Proxima b receiving roughly 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, which could be detrimental to any potential life. In fact, an April 2021 Proxima Centauri flare was 100 times more potent than any flare ever observed from the Sun, making it difficult to imagine life surviving such intense radiation without specialized shelter. While the idea of a habitable planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is captivating, the reality seems far from hospitable. Despite these challenges, the human fascination with the possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life remains strong. In late 2020, a peculiar signal was discovered originating from the Alpha Centauri system, which includes Proxima Centauri. This signal had an unusual frequency of 982.07 MHz, not typically associated with signals from Earth-based satellites and spacecraft. While some experts speculate that it might have been caused by a piece of manufactured equipment, others continue to dream that it may be proof of intelligent life. Traveling to Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system outside our solar system, and encountering alien life may not be as far-fetched as once thought. The Breakthrough Initiatives have been researching ways to cut down travel time from hundreds of years to just decades. Recent research highlights how current technology could potentially overcome the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases, particularly as it approaches the speed of light. Nevertheless, even with these advancements, reaching Alpha Centauri would still require around 6,000 years of travel time with current technology, making it a daunting journey. One ambitious project, Starshot, aims to reach Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth, by using lasers to propel a spacecraft toward its destination. However, one of the main challenges lies in the Earth's atmosphere, which affects incoming light and laser light, 
making it difficult to exert the necessary force to move a spacecraft forward. To overcome this, adaptive optics could be used in reverse. Small lasers on satellites would assess atmospheric effects in real time, allowing much more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a tight focus on the space probe. The lasers needed for this endeavor require a whopping 100 gigawatts of power to send the vessel at any given time, equivalent to the entire electricity consumption of the United States. However, these lasers only need to run at maximum capacity for 10 minutes. To disperse the electricity across a kilometer square region, they plan to use 100 million lasers. The Starshot team is determined to push the boundaries of space exploration. When the lasers are turned off, the object hurtling through space will be moving at an astonishing 20% of the speed of light. This spacecraft would be a little over 10 meters in diameter and could reach Alpha Centauri in just 22 years, provided it's not significantly slowed down by the gravitational pull of the sun or interstellar debris. Even if the spacecraft successfully reaches Alpha Centauri, its transmissions would take another four years to reach Earth. Keeping the probe from melting due to the intense speed and heat is one of the biggest challenges. To prevent this, the mirror on the spacecraft must be practically perfect, reflecting 99.99% of the light that strikes it. Additionally, it needs to double the momentum transfer while decreasing heat in a matter of days. Once launched, the probe would traverse the Alpha Centauri system, likely never getting very close to a planet. The fascinating part of this concept is that, once the launch system is in place, adding more probes may be sent for a reasonable price. This could significantly increase the chances of catching a fleeting glimpse of any Earth-like planets in adjacent star systems, expanding the possibilities of exploration. After arriving at Proxima Centauri, mankind would have an entire star system to explore, raising the tantalizing question of how many additional planets like our own might exist. Exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system, have been a subject of fascination and discovery for many years. The first official findings of planets circling specific classes of stars, such as pulsars, were made in 1992. Just three years later, the first planet revolving around a star similar to the Sun was discovered. Since then, numerous additional exoplanets, including several Earth-sized worlds within the habitable zones of their stars, have been found. These groundbreaking missions and countless studies have expanded our understanding of the universe, although we've only scratched the surface. Space exploration continues to captivate our curiosity and provide new insights into the cosmos. Missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Kepler Space Observatory have opened new avenues for studying distant worlds and have laid the foundation for future discoveries. As our knowledge of the universe expands, so does our wonder and fascination with the possibilities of space exploration. If you're as captivated by space exploration as we are, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay informed about the latest discoveries and adventures beyond our world. Thank you for watching another episode of Elizib, while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.